Hey everyone, please welcome Carrie Morton. Carrie, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you on your big win last week. And also, I'm interested in knowing if you have an interest in pursuing the Junior Heavyweight Championship, especially considering your father is a former Junior Heavyweight Champion. You're dang right I am, May. Eh? You know, that championship holds a lot of lineage to it, including some of the greats in this business that went on to make very high milestones, and including, hopefully one day, myself. You know, the NWA stands for a lot, but one thing it stands for me is honor and dignity and ready to run the roads knowing I got my start here at the NWA. So if you ask me if I'm ready for this championship, you're dang right I am. Okay, thank you so much, Carrie. We're calling the action on this monumental episode of NWA USA in our main event. Big Strong Mims has some big strong competition in AJ Kazana. Also, we're going to see Natalia Markova in action as well. But first, the debut of one of the best veterans in the sport of professional wrestling, Caprice Coleman, is making his way to the NWA arena. That match is now. The following match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from T Town, he is the ageless one, Caprice Coleman! 27 year veteran in the sport of professional wrestling. That's a lot of time spent in the ring training, traveling. Oh my gosh. But he still looks so young. He, sure he looks does. so great. He's in incredible shape. He's always been in incredible shape. And his opponent, representing the ill-begotten, he is... Kyle Lover, you're doing a great job. I'm gonna get you that tryout on Star Search before you know it, but you don't have the pipes for this. That's right, Daniel W. Deals. For all the dealyites all around the world, brings to you the spark plug of the IB boys, Alex Alex Taylor is getting no love here inside the NWA arena. And he has some tough competition with Caprice Coleman. He's been a champion pretty much everywhere that he's gone. You want me to call you, Danny? Danny Deals is summoning me to call him. What? Why is oh. everybody? <laughs> You're getting a lot of attention here, I Velvet. I am. This is so great. The bell has rung and Caprice Coleman making his debut here inside an NWA ring. Caprice Coleman is a man of faith, a man of family. I like to hear that. Really credits all of his health and all of his well-being and all the accomplishments of his life to Jesus. Shoulders are down. Love to hear that. There, Alex Taylor gets his foot on the bottom rope. Come on, get him off! And look at Caprice Coleman. He had an opportunity to take advantage right there and elected not to. That's an honest man right there. I respect and appreciate that. You don't see a lot of that. He's letting this rising star, Alex Taylor, show him what he's got. Sends him off. Beautiful drop kick. Wow. So impressive. Lateral press gets a one count. Big back 
elbow by Caprice. It's like effortless for him. He's all in his hands, Keenan. And now, oh, beautiful leg drop. Did you see the elevation sure on that? Did. Lateral press getting the two count. I think it really goes to show what NWA USA and really what the NWA as a whole is really showing in the sport of professional wrestling. The best in the sport want to be here. That includes guys Did you just like see that? yeah, that was a nice leg trip. But the transition from Alex Taylor after that was just incredible. Like, was. like it's like they teleported to the outside to trip Caprice Coleman. Alex Taylor has really grown here in the National Wrestling Alliance. He is wrestling all over, and you can see that he's putting time in the gym. In a fantastic shape, gets a one count on Caprice. Oh yeah, Alex Taylor, he's a tough competitor as well. And though he's digging the, his nails into the eyes, into the face of Caprice Coleman. Although I don't agree with his tactics. Or who he aligns himself with, with that, Danny Deals yeah, being out here. Yeah, that too. Danny Deals, I don't know if Here's the thing. Who wants to align themselves with Danny Deals? Everyone who seems to do that never really gets any wins, is never yeah. really successful. Why do you want Danny Deals as your manager? I, good question, Joe. But that could all change right here. Alex Taylor dumps Caprice to the outside. Here comes Deals. What's he going to do? Referee. Oh, oh well, wait a minute. That was right in front of the ref. What's going on? That's got to be... A is that disqualification? It's gotta be. What is Kevin Deals coming thinking? Outside. Deals is putting Alex Taylor. He's putting Alex Taylor in jeopardy. See, in there at all. Well, I'm glad he's being ejected. Kevin Keenan's given a lot of leeway. This is gonna cause some dissension between Alex Taylor and Danny Deals. Perhaps he doesn't think those kicks by Danny Deals had much of effect on Caprice Coleman. But Danny Deals has been ejected from the NWA oh, oh. arena. As these two start to battle on the outside, Caprice. Oh, wow! I cannot believe what we just saw. I thought wow. Caprice was going to get a mouthful of steel, but he swung wow. around the pole. I don't think that's something you can teach. Now, that no. is a gift from God right there. That is pure athleticism. My gosh. Yeah. Wow. And Alex Taylor, he wants a timeout. He wants a break. That boot to the face was a wake-up call for one-third of the ill-begotten. Plus, he doesn't have deals out here anymore to help him. Flying solo, trying to get a sucker punch in. Caprice telegraphed the second punch as well. Ducks the third. Lefts and rights. Floating like a butterfly, stings like a bee. It's Caprice Coleman. Springboard with a spinning heel kick. Spinning heel kick right across the bridge of the nose. Oh, it's like, oh, oh, what a light oh, drop. So That's got to be it. Oh, oh, wow. So close. That was some real tenacity there by Alex Taylor to be able to kick out. And I believe he's calling, he's for, calling for the Holy Trinity. <laughs> Taylor had it scouted. Looking for a suplex, got him up. Oh, fucking arrow! Gosh. He came down hard on the top of his neck. Alex Taylor, he needs to capitalize. And this would be a major upset. Alex Taylor looks a little wobbly. Like he's not all recovered. He's going up to the top rope, though. Chris Coleman up to his feet as well. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Did you just see the height of Chris Coleman got on that? Picking him up. There's the oh father! My God. The son! Will he get it? He got the it! The Holy Ghost! With the bridge! The Holy Trinity! Wow! Wow! The I winner of this match, Caprice Coleman! Welcome <laughs> to the NWA! I want to see more Caprice Coleman! Make that two of us, Joe. I'm so impressed by what I just saw from Caprice Coleman. We gotta take a break, we'll be right back.
the NWA All Access Annual Pass on Fight. For just $49.99 a year, you can see all six NWA pay-per-views each year live on Fight. Enjoy first-run airings each Tuesday of new NWA Power episodes at a historical time of 6.05. Watch the action of NWA USA Saturdays and experience Fight-only special events and content like the acclaimed 10 Pounds of Gold series. All the action, all the power, all the pay-per-views, all the shows. For only $49.99, that's a savings of over $100 opposed to if you were just to order it all alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. NWA All Access on Fight. Why bother with monthly subscriptions when one year gets it all? Joining me at this time is AJ Kazana. AJ, in today's main events, you're going to be facing Mims. So I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on such a marquee matchup. Well, I've, I've, I've wrestled Mims before. I've been in the ring with Mims. And I know that Mims is big. He is strong. And by God, he's got something that a lot of people in this business don't have. But... But Mims isn't the legacy. Mims isn't AJ Kazana. Mims isn't a true third generation wrestler. And trust me, I know that when everything is said and done, I can take Mims to the limit. I can deliver that last blow to put big, strong Mims on the mat. Okay, thank you so much for your time, AJ. The following match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first, the Crush, Natalia Markova! Velvet, you might have more information on this, but from what I understand, Natalia Markova is not making any friends in the women's locker room whatsoever. She has got a bad attitude inside and outside the ring. She's not making any friends, Joe, but she does not care. She's here for one reason, to wrestle, to fight, to brawl, and to go after the NWA Women's Championship. She does not care who likes her, who hates her. She's here to fight. There is a long line of women who want to challenge Camille for the Burke. And her opponent already in the ring. This is Riley. Riley. Come on. Just 20 years old. Just 20 years old. She's really got a style that's out of this world. Fan favorite, too. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you heard it from the crowd. It actually is her birthday. And the best birthday gift ever would be getting your debut here on NWA USA and a big victory over Natalia Markova, oh. who just slapped the taste out of Riley's oh mouth. Oh, my gosh. Are those her birthday slaps? Oh, she's going to get 20 of them. I hope not. Markova did not come to sing happy birthday, have a piece of cake, and open gifts. She came to deliver pain and punishment. Oh, yeah. She always does, though. Very impressive athlete Natalia Markova is. Spinning neck breaker. Riley is rocked. Trying to show some signs of defiance, but Markova is all over her. Pulling the hair. Oh, vicious back chap by Markova. She's relentless. She's a beast, a brawler. She's sadistic. Oh my gosh, the next snap off the ropes. I think Riley Rocket is rocked. And Riley, oh, she is just being dragged around the ring by her hair. Markova's got to be careful. She's going to get herself disqualified. And once again, using that middle rope, putting all of her weight. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, right across the throat. A modified, more damaging version than the, of the Bronco Buster. Natalia Markova like toying with her now. Yeah. She's enjoying this. She is really enjoying inflicting pain on this young woman. It's like a lion with their prey. Markova, she's calling for the end. Riley moves out of the way. She was looking for that Pacola. beautiful disaster. And shoulders are down. She got her rolled up. Major upset. Oh, one count. You got to stay on her, Riley. Backslide. Shoulders are down. Kick out. Series of pins by Riley getting frustrated 
that Natalia Markova keeps kicking out. Again into the corner. Oh! Beautiful disaster! Double oh, under oh, DDT! Right down on her face. The winner of this match, Natalia Markova! Natalia Markova continues to prove every time she steps in the ring why she is definitely a contender for the NWA Women's Championship. Do you agree? I absolutely agree. She sent a big statement right here on NWA USA. We got to take a quick break. When we come back, more action. As most of you know, I am Kinsey Page. I'm 20 years old. Basically, my life has just been revolved around wrestling. My entire life has been nothing but wrestling. I trained with Dr. Tom Pritchard, Glenn Jacobs. From a very early age, you know, people knew I was going to be a superstar. And I really took that and made it my own, and I've made wrestling my entire life. You know, I eat, sleep, breathe wrestling every single day. Um, you know, and I found my I found myself here at NWA. I worked so hard, and now I can say I'm part of the National Wrestling Alliance. You know, and you know, obviously my main goal is to have gold in this company. But beyond that, past that, past you know being a champion for the National Wrestling Alliance, I want everyone to remember Kenzie Page. And whenever everyone thinks of the National Wrestling Alliance, they're gonna think of Kenzie. More than no, like no, cereal. No, 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 no. Cereal. cereal. All right, so look, so look, so look, so look, so look. So here's the thing. Yeah, what you got? You wanted to talk to us, man. I we, did. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, so look. So that match between you and Marche, the ending, it wasn't what we wanted, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No kidding. Yeah. 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 Not, it was yeah. BS, right? Yeah. All right, I so wonder look. why. Yeah, yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, look, yeah. look. But I got you, though. Check this you, out. You got me. I got you. Well, I got you, you got? too, you big man. You got some money? You got some church money for me? Oh, I got a lot of money, brother. Okay. So look. Um. How about this? NWA loves tag wrestling, right? Yeah, we're the fixers, man. Yeah. We know that. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, Billy likes it too, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. so look, how about this? Fixers, y'all two versus Marche and a partner. Oh, we come on. This. You go get we that tall, this. blonde kid. You know what I mean? Golden Boy? Yeah, Golden Boy. Nah, come nah, on. Nah, I know what bro. you're doing, too. Nah, I've been around this block plenty of times. I know you have, yeah, bro. Yeah. I got you. I got you. No clear water, no tires. No tires. Yeah. No tires? No clear water, no tires. No clear water, yeah. no tires. What about you? Yo, here's the thing. I won't even be out there. You bro. won't even be out there? I won't even be out there. Mm -hmm. I got what, you, bro. What you think about this? Would I lie to y'all? Easy peasy. Yeah. Huh? All right. We good? Yeah, I'm picking it up like a church dollar, man. I get it. All right, we good then. Yeah. All right. Good. We, 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 All right, thank I you. I think we got this. Yeah, we, we got it. We got you this. think we got this? I know we got this. Because we're the fixers. All right, fixers. All right, All right, All right, All right man. Yo, man, back your homie up, bro. I do. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold, 
To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA arena for NWA USA. This has been a very exciting episode, Velvet. To say the very least, Joe. And we yes. got another one on deck for you next week. Colby Carino, he's coming to the NWA arena. He has a huge matchup against a major veteran. More details on that to come. And Aria Davari, he's making his return to an NWA All ring right. as well. And the Fixers will be in tag team action as well. But now it's time for our main event. The following match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Knoxville, Tennessee, this is the legacy AJ Kazana. Third generation professional wrestler. His grandfather was a promoter for the NWA for a number of years. His father wrestled for the NWA as well. He wants to make a statement, he wants to make his legacy. And his opponent. From Clarksville, Tennessee, this is Big Strong Mims! A standing ovation for Big Strong Mims. Everybody loves Mims, how could you not? I like this type of main event. Here we go. Mims taking it all in. I mean, how could he not? I mean, he's gone through so much here in the NWA. Was unsuccessful with Pope in the Crockett Cup. Now he's here, he's on NWA USA. I know he wants to be a part of that national title picture. Get a chance to challenge Jack Stane for that championship. But he's gotta stack up some wins in singles competition. He could start that right here, right now, against AJ Kazana, standing switch by Mims. Powers him down to the mat. I like that, oh, look at oh, that. La booty slap. Playing some games with Kazana. Again. <laughs> you can see how Mims has elevated his hips. Putting his weight, more of his weight down on AJ Kazan. Just trying to wear him down in the early goings of this match. Smart move. But Kazana now into a hammerlock. Beautiful transition now. To the tricep. Oh, the arm is locked up still. Yeah, he's trying to isolate that arm. Perhaps he's trying to do a lot of damage to it to avoid that big, strong slam. Oh, Mims was able to maneuver his way out of that. Mims getting a hammer lock of his own. Transitions to the side headlock. Shots to the midsection as Kazana sends him off. Eats a big shoulder tackle. Mims tackle. sends AJ Kazana down. You know, it seems like every time we see Mims, he looks like he puts on even more muscle. But one thing that really grows in him is the confidence. Every time we see him in the ring with a scoop and a slam, his confidence goes up and up and up. And I have to say his heart. His heart is one of the best things about him. He shows so much heart in the ring when he fights. Setting up, three point stance. Oh, he took a little too long. He got an elbow to the back. Zana sends him into the turnbuckle, smothering him. Zana now targeting the midsection of Mims. Mims with an up. Able to capitalize. And the big headbutt. Trying to Get. wear AJ Kazana down as much as he can. Look at the power. Look at the strength of Mims. Going into the cover, shoulders down. Two count. Two. Uh. 
I was a little frustrated by that. I think if he was able to just kind of get in that cover just a little bit faster. It could have been a three count, That, that yeah. could have been a three count, but Kazana was wise enough to get that left shoulder off of the canvas. Oh, now he claws at the oh, eyes. Mim set into the top turnbuckle. And Kazana, full mount, raining down hell. He's got punches and bunches. And he is getting no love from the crowd here. This is it. Lateral press, one count on Mims. Now you're going to have to do a lot more if you want to get a victory on Big Strong Mims. Kazana showing strength of his own. Scoop and a slam. Chops the elbow. Right into the heart of Mims. Another lateral press and a two count. Crowd rallying behind Mims here. How could they not? For what we've seen from Mims over the years, and now Kazana. He's transitioning. Oh, he's exposing the chest. Close to the chest. Might be looking to break that collarbone. Can't quite get the arm underneath the chin. Mims is doing his best. Oh, he's taking oh. him down to the mat now with this. It's not looking good for Mims. He's got to find a way to somehow transition out of this. Or this could be a big main event victory for AJ Kazana. This is an uphill battle for him. As soon as the people started to cheer for him, it looks like Mim started to come alive, feeding off the energy of this crowd here. Shots to the midsection. Mims on the attack. Rosanna able to counter. Sunset flip into a pin. Wasn't able to get both feet over the shoulders fast enough. Oh, what a kick. What a kick by the legacy. Mims had some pretty good momentum going there before that, too. AJ Kazana saying, I don't care about his family. For Kazana, it's all about him. It's all about his family. And making a mark here in the NWA. Mims is firing back. Knee to the midsection. Shutting Mims down. Collapses to the canvas. This match seems to be pretty evenly matched. Both with just, you know, the back and forth. And yeah, the experience level of both of these men, the size of both of these athletes. Yeah. You see a lot of similarities oh, in a big close line. This time, hook in the leg and two count. And Kazana's getting frustrated. This could be anybody's ball game. It could. And again, targeting the chest, exposing it by bringing the arms to the back. I love how much the crowd loves Mims. I think everybody in the back shares that sentiment. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people in the back share that sentiment about Mims. Yes, because Mims, he's very well liked. Yes, he is. Up on the shoulders, though. Mims escaping out the back door. Got the waist lock. Susanna rolling through. Mims trying to take advantage. Ducks the clothesline, comes off the ropes, big close out of his own. Back elbow now. Mims is rocking and rolling here on NWA USA in the main event. Looks like both men are feeling the effects of the beatdown they've been putting on each other. He's looking for that big strong side, but grabbing the hair. Steady staying to work with those blows to the chest of Mims. Making it very difficult to breathe. Trying to take the wind out of the sails of big, strong Mims. And this match is getting into the deep water now. Santa now 
targeting the lower back. Give up, Mibs! Bim's doing everything he can to get out of that camel clutch. His forearms across the face. And he's got it locked in, center of the ring, this could be it. Mims might be forced to tap. Will Mims capitulate in the center of the ring? How will he get out of this in the center of the, oh, oh he does, he's just powering himself out, using those strong arms. And now he's got, I think he's got Kazan on his back. He's but Kazana's to fighting him. back. I think he got Kazana maybe an inch off of the canvas. And Kazana, oh, oh, all that one minute down. remains, one minute remains. One minute remains, Kazana could get a victory here. No, two count. Kazana wants to get a big win here on NWA USA. He needs to. One minute is not a again. lot of time. No, it's not. You can, you can tell both of these wrestlers now, they are rushing. And by that, I mean they are in a hurry. He's trying to get Mims to submit. He's in the camel clutch. Mims needs to find his way to fight out of this. Oh, he's starting to fade. He's starting to fade. He doesn't have a lot of data. There's not a lot of time left in this match. Will he tap? Will he tap? No. He's so close. Oh, Mims. Mims is suffering. Got one hand free. Kazan is still applying the weight. Got both arms free now. Still has the pressure around the neck, and the bell has rung. That's it. Break the hole. Come on. Time's up. Mims did not submit. The following match has reached the 10 minute mark and has been declared a draw. Well, we've reached the time limit draw. This crowd is not happy about it. And neither is AJ Kazana. Kazana believes he was right there. He was just moments away from being victorious here on NWA USA. Folks, we are running out of time. We will see you this Tuesday for NWA Power. Oh, but Mims! Oh, wait a minute, Mims is making a comeback here now. I think Mims just wanted to send a message. You didn't have me beat. All right, folks, we'll see you on Tuesday.